and welcome, welcome, welcome to Goddess Temple Sunday, your 20-ish minute blast of inspiration, motivation, and transformation to set your week off right. I'm Abiola, and I'm the founder of the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy. And if you're going to be joining us in the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, if you want to launch your own courses, build your own tribe, make your own money, the doors are closing for this live round. Get started free right now at richgoddess.club. The link is rich goddess, rich goddess. You got to say it like that, richgoddess.club. Yes. Greetings, 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 goddesses. Hello, made of water. What a beautiful name, made of water. That is wonderful. Hello, goddess Denise. Hi, cuz. Good morning. Good morning, goddess Mo. And Enchantress Shane is in the house. She has a retreat going on. So head over, come Come find her at imanifestmagic.com. That'll take you into my Facebook goddess group. Her name is Enchantress Shane. It is the Enchanted Burlesque Retreat, and it's hot. And she's one of my clients, and she's doing the darn thing. Goddess Dawn is in the house. Hello, Goddess Dawn. And Goddess Sandra is here. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you are. Goddess Nitsankopa is here, and she says blessings and bliss. And welcome, welcome, welcome to all of the new goddesses who have registered for the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy. You have inspired today's Goddess Temple Sunday. Yay for the hearts. Yes. You have inspired today's Goddess Temple Sunday. Goddess Samantha is here. Greetings, beautiful. The reason you've inspired today's Goddess Temple Sunday is this is something that I bake into all of my programs, to my international retreats, et cetera. I know that whenever we make a big change in our lives and we say, here's who I am, right? Then life as we knew it before says, no, you are not. And we get into a fear place and then we're in a state of conflict between who we are declaring ourselves to be now, who we feel we've evolved to be, who we are wanting to be, and who we've been for the 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever years up until that point. And that's where the self-sabotage steps in and it feels like nothing is working. And so we're going to work this out today. Yes, we're going to work this out today. We're going to work this out today. Greetings, Goddess Damali. Greetings, Mr. Tightwork. Okay, greetings, Mr. Tightwork. Greetings, BKP Worldwide. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, yes, we're going to talk about our self identity. Who do you think yourself are? You, who do you think you are, basically, right? Because we live in a state of most of our lives being afraid of that the fact that what other people are going to say. Who are other people going to say, you know, who do you think you are? But the person that is really saying to us, who do you think you are, and pulling you back is you. So let's talk about that. But first, we want to begin, of course, greetings, Coach Roz, with a little or a lot, actually, of gratitude. So right now, just close your eyes. If you don't pray, just set an intention. Just tune into the power of intention. Tune in to the fact that you were miraculously and beautifully created. Feel your heart beating and the blood running through your veins and the beautiful miracle that that you are and how amazing that despite everything that you have been through, everything that has happened to you up until this point, every force that seems like it has tried to rip you down, you are still standing. You are still here. You woke up this morning, and for that, we start with gratitude. And we say, creator, thank you so much for blessing us with another opportunity to breathe, to live, to laugh, to love, to make choices, to make decisions, to wake up this morning and be here on your beautiful, green, delicious earth. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to inspire others, to create change, to be who it is that we really know ourselves to be. 
Help us to continue to be guided. Help us to continue to laugh. Help us to continue to feel pleasure. Help us to continue to enjoy our lives. Help us to continue to remember that you gave us the gift of life. But what we do with it now is our greatest gift back. And for this, we are so grateful. Amen. A women. I say. And so it is. So motivate all of the above. Yes. Now we can begin. Greetings, Goddess Justina is in the house. Greetings, Goddess Linda Mitchell is here. All right. Yes. Yes, 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 over on Instagram, they're like, amen, yes, Goddess Rohini Wellness, good morning. Okay, so we are talking about identity. Who do you think you are? Who are you? How do you complete the words I am? Put that in the comments right now. What's your I am? I am. Who, what's your I am? So my I am's. You know, we all have our I am's, our physical identity. We have our I am's in the ways that we show up in the world. We have our I am's based on, you know, how we are feeling, you know, what we feel to be true about ourselves, right? The most basic ones are, you know, what our physical presence is. So I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am a friend, right? Like your I am. So what are your I am's? I am a, yes, Enchantress Shane, she is skipping the head to the front of the class. Yes, she says, I am a queen. Yes, yes. And so we claim, what is it? What are your I am's? Yes, goddesses, claim who you are, your I am's. Your, the way that you define yourself, of course, is rooted in your I am. Ams. And so one of the things that we did that is an integral part of foundation of the work that I do, like Enchantress Shane declared, I am a queen, is that we restructure I am's with I am a queen, I'm a warrior, I'm a sorceress, I'm a lover to reroot our identities. But then for a lot of people, the same stuff happens. Like I was talking about in the beginning that you come into the course, you come into the moment, you come into the class, you come onto the retreat, you say, I am, and you're feeling your greatness, and you go back home to your life, which, which says to you, I am not. So, because now we're so out of that I am not vibration that it doesn't even feel good, like, oh, like we're not even there. Let's talk about how to stay more firmly rooted in your I ams. So, Goddess Allison says, I am a mother. I am a divine diva. I am a change maker. And here's what I want you to do, goddesses. When you hear, because if it's true for one, it's true for all. Let's affirm that. If it is true for one, it is true for all. And so when I am affirming these positive I am's from your fellow goddess sisters who are here in this circle today, I want you to feel that. So it's Goddess Allison, a.k.a. Coach Roz, the starting over coach, who is declaring, I am a divine diva. I am a change maker. Feel that in your own body. Yes. Thank you for the hearts. Feel that in your own body, in your own life. Yes. I am a mother. I am a divine diva. I am a change maker. Goddess Justina has declared, I am one with myself and all there is. Ooh, we feel the power in that. And so it is. Goddess Neith Sankofa says, I am the meta -mystic mystical warrior of light. I am the meta mystical warrior of light, Ashe, and so it is, yes, absolutely. Goddess Rohini Wellness says, I am a transformational speaker and healer, absolutely. Goddess Denise says, I am nourished. Ooh, that feels good, yes, I am nourished. And mother, beautiful, yes. If it's true for one, it is true for all. Goddess Shane says, I am a revolution. Yes, you are, Enchantress. Goddess Norma says, I am a queen, the mother of three beautiful, intelligent children and a beautiful, smart granddaughter. And so it is. Yes, 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 yes. We affirm that. Ah, Shay. Coach Kaylin, aka Goddess Sandra, says, I am sensational she s-h-e i am sensational she yes she is and yes we are 
if it is true for one, it is true for all. And the people that you're watching, that you admire, you know, like whether it's Beyonce or Michelle Obama, or, you know, we lost um, goddess Aretha Franklin this week. When we look at them and we see the greatness and the grandness in them, we're just seeing our own light reflected back at us. If it was not in you, you would not be able to see it in them. You would not even be able to vibrate on that level. You would look and you would feel jealous, you would feel anger, you would feel all of those things, but you would not be able to look and say, wow, that's greatness. That's what greatness looks like. And the reason why you know that is because it is a mirror. You are merely looking in a mirror. You're merely looking at a reflection of yourself in different phases. And that phase could be, you could be looking at yourself in the Mother Teresa mirror and see the greatness there. It's you. It's all you. We are all here together as one. If it is true for one, it is true for all. Goddess Mia is affirming, I am amazing, powerful. Yes, absolutely, Goddess. I am complete. Oh, Goddess Norma said, I am a mother of many. Oh, feel the power in that. Yes, absolutely. Goddess Shanika, good morning. Goddess Mia says, I am strong in my femininity. Yes, yes. And so being able to right now just Feel the energy, like allow yourself to, to, to bask in the energy, the word bath. <laughs> the word bath, the power that this is, the power that you are, the power that we are. And so now I want you to complete another sentence. Another sentence that is perhaps oftentimes a little bit more triggering when we're talking about our identity, which is really what we're talking about. Because like I said, you know, you come to the Goddess Pray Love retreat in Belize or Bali or wherever with me, probably Greece next time. Shh, we'll see, right? You come to you come with me to, you know, wherever and or you sign up for the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Stop playing. You're playing yourself. Head over to richgoddess.club. Get started. Stop sitting in a stuck identity, right? You come into, you know, a new world, a new identity, a new chance for yourself, and you say yes, and then you say no, and you shrink, and you lose your self-integrity, and you play that game back and forth with yourself, and we don't want that anymore. So let's try a new sentence. I am the kind of person who, complete that sentence, I'm the kind of person who, or I'm the type of person who, and this is where we usually trip ourselves up, right? Well, I'm the kind of person that doesn't do that. I'm the kind of, you know, well, why don't you want to go on the Goddess Pray Love Retreat, although you think that it's amazing, and you show up every, you know, Sunday for Goddess Temple Sunday, and you're over on womanifesting.com, and you're loving it, and you're feeling like this is your time. You're ready to step into your power. Why not? I'm not the kind of person that goes on retreats. I'm not the kind of person that signs up for coaching. I'm not the kind of person that allows myself to be happy. Oh my goodness. What type of person are you? Let's define it. Let's step into it. And your definition is not a limit. It's fluid. It's changing. You may declare an I am right now and five minutes from now you are accelerating so fast that it is out of date. I can tell you for sure the goddesses here who I know intimately with my heart, you know, goddess Neet Sankofa and goddess Sandra and goddess Shane and goddess Allison, my spiritpreneur goddesses, I can tell you for sure that I am seeing them rapid, so rapidly evolve that when we have a conversation, <laughs> whether it's from Friday to Friday or a live coaching session or whatever, I'm like, okay, what's going on with you? Basically, who are you? Let's begin again, because so much has happened. You're a whole new goddess. I realize that. I recognize that. <laughs> so who are you now, right? Which is a beautiful and glorious and incredible thing. Because so often in life, the people around us don't want us to grow because it scares them. The shift in you is a threat to their identity, right? And so they say, oh, you've changed. Like, that's a bad thing. Hello? Yeah! I've changed. What do you think? <laughs> of course I've changed. 
the globe is changing, the life is changing, the weather is changing, everything is changing. And you expect me to be static and stuck when I don't even have the same corpuscles and you know brain cells that I had 28 days ago when my skin cells are rapidly changing, when we were made to shift and change and evolve? What? Of course I've changed. Sweetie, you know me pre-eclipse. <laughs> we have had three eclipses since then. We have moved out of Leo into Virgo. Yeah, I've changed. <laughs> Maybe the pre-eclipse me was ready to have that conversation with you. But you know what? Right now, this post-eclipse me, I can't even remember who you are. How'd you get this number? <laughs> thing. It is not a compliment to say, oh, don't ever change. Yes, you should be evolving and growing and changing. And the feeling of not changing is misery. It's stuckness. That's when we feel like, oh my goodness, life is not working because the gift of life is progress. The gift of life is evolution. And when we're not evolving, when we're not growing, we're not being who we were truly inspired and meant to be, who we were truly gifted to be. There's no garden that we can go to and look at the garden and be like, oh, thank goodness this garden hasn't changed. What? The flowers are growing as you speak. The grass is growing. The, the, the very earth is different. And I say it all the time and I mean it from my soul that, you know, when from the moment of decision, when a woman decides that she is now ready to be something else, there's, there's just power in that decision making. The very Teutonic plates have shifted. And so, yes, we have changed. Yes, we absolutely have changed. And that is a beautiful, a blessed, an incredible thing. Embrace it. Embrace it. And if, again, if the people around you are wanting you to stay stuck, if the people around you are wanting you to stay static, that's about their own fear. That's about their own issues. That's their own stuff. And it's not about you. Change, yes, Goddess Norma, she says, people are afraid of change, but change is good. Yes, change means growth. And so don't take their stuff onto yours. I'm looking at you, my beautiful empath. I'm looking at you, my beautiful empath, healer, giver, shaman, who wants to take everything on her shoulders, right? Who We learn something and five minutes later, we want to show somebody else. And so we were like, well, read this book or watch that documentary or whatever. They may not be there now and they may never get there. And that's okay. Everybody is on their own journey. All that you can do if they're open to it is expose them to different information. But if they're not, it's okay. They're not your clients. <laughs> your parents are not your clients. Your siblings are not your clients. Your friends are not your clients. They're not your clients. And so your job is not to evolve them. Your job really, really is to tune into the highest and best part, the best expression of who you are so that your life is so magical and so incredible that you're like living you, being you. And they're like, ooh, I want some of that. I will have what she's having, right? And then they may ask you, ooh, okay, tell me more. Tell me more about going to Bali with Abiola. Tell me more about being on Enchantress Jane's burlesque retreat. Yes, tell me more about Goddess Need Sankofa's ancestral coaching services. Yes, tell me more about Coach Kaylin and her starting over coaching. Yes. I'm sorry, it's Goddess Allison with the starting over coaching. Coach Kaylin with all of her magical, mystical things that she is bringing to you. Yes, they will come to you and ask you, or they won't, and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And so be aware of how you limit yourself with the sentence, I'm the kind of person who, I'm not the kind of person who, works out or I'm not the kind of person who would go dancing or I'm not the kind of person who you know would I don't know be out in nature or I'm not the kind of person who would you know do x y and z you are the kind of person that you declare yourself to be the gift that we were given our greatest gift that we were given is free will 
And so if you're sitting around and you're saying, well, why isn't, why am I still here? Why isn't it figured out for me? You have a fixed mindset and it's your job. It's your work. Like, look at all that you were given. What? You were given breath. You were given life. And for all of the issues that you may think that you have, if you are able to see this right this minute, you are in the top 1% of people in wealth in the world. No matter what your story is. So I want you to redefine yourself rather than thinking, okay, well, you know, I am, you know, I came from poverty or I came from pain. We all came from degrees and levels of pain. We absolutely, it is, you know, a part of the human condition. There is no one who over the next 12 months, something surprising is not going to happen. That is life. And the sooner that we realize that part of it and realize that, okay, that is, that's built into it. That's baked into it. You are the top 1%. You are. It's just, let me just, when I grew up, I grew up in the 1980s in New York City, crack vials on the sidewalk. The other day I was watching something on 2020 or um, 2020 or what would you do? And they were like, oh, there's something now called free range parenting. Free range parenting, yes, right? And in free range parenting, you allow your kids the freedom to walk back and forth to school or play in a park or whatever and see how they would evolve. My mom is in the audience. Mommy, you were a pioneer. <laughs> My mom was doing free range parenting and she didn't even know about it because she had to work. <laughs> she had to go to work. And so, yes. At that time, it was called latchkey kids, right? So I had my key in my bag, and I would get my brother and then get my brother and my sister when she was born and walk us home from school at nine years old. I was taking the subway at 12. Everybody one generation older than me, half generation, one generation older than me. And this is not unique to me. Anybody who's grown up in any urban area at that time can tell you. Half generation older than me was either selling drugs or using drugs at the time they absolutely were and it was the fact of being in new york city in the 80s so having survived that having survived whatever it is that you have been through or that your ancestors have been through it is a slap in the face to think woe is me yes we have issues yes we have problems but the fact that you are wealthy enough to have whatever device that didn't exist at the time when you were born that you can watch this conversation and we can gather together around the world and be in different places at different times and be inspired and uplifted by sharing in this beautiful energy is a miracle and the fact that you woke up this morning is a miracle is a beautiful miracle and so we have to start from that place open your eyes in the morning and say oh thank you for another miracle yes rather than oh my god what's gonna happen today what's gonna happen today yay what is gonna happen today how amazing that this magical beautiful incredible empowered person that i am what am i gonna do today and rather than I am the kind of person who does not whatever, right? I am, the, I am the kind of person who rises to the challenge. I am the kind of person who makes a way out of no way. I'm a, the kind of person that realizes that, yes, oh my goodness, what a blessing to live my life. I'm the kind of person that realizes that when I'm not okay, it's okay to not be okay, that I don't have to be a perfectionist, that I don't have to tyrannize myself with making everything look good on the outside while it's crappy on the inside. I am the kind of person who gets to live my life and live my joy and make choices for myself. And if it doesn't work, I get to try something else. If it doesn't work, I try something else, and I try something else, and I try something else. And then when do you give up on yourself? Never. Never. Because while you were given breath, you were given another chance to say, hey, here's another way. What are you going to come up with today? What are you going to do today? If not for you, then for your ancestors, life has already shown you the worst. Now you get to live the best. You get to step into the best. I could wake up every day and be like, oh my goodness, how many people 
that I grew up with died or are in jail, perpetually in jail, or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, I was told that I was going to be whatever statistic. You cannot mire yourself in that. That's not my identity. Our identities are made up usually of the memories that we have and what someone else tells us to be true about ourselves, right? Like, oh, well, people like you are, people like you do, right? And then the programming. And we program all of that stuff and we walk through our lives and we don't question it. We don't question it. We say, all right, well, this is what people like me do. This is how people like me live. This is how people like me vote. This is how people like me eat. This is how people like me, no. You are not beholden to any of that. You get to decide. I am, and I am the kind of person who, and you live from that power. And then you give yourself whatever it is, you know, goals are great, but what it really comes down to is our habits. You know, and we're really two different people, right? So there's the us who makes the goals and sets the things and says, yes, and tomorrow I'm going to eat nothing but kale and I'm going to work out every day and I'm going to do all of my lessons in Spiritpreneur Guru Academy and I'm going to show up the way that, you know, I know that I should be showing up, right? We got that part of us. But that part of us doesn't take into account the part of us that's waking up on a rainy day or that's waking up hungry <laughs> or the part of us that bought the Oreos that are sitting there or the part of us that has the friends that says, no, nah, that's, well, that's, you can do that when you come back. Let's go drink it. Let's go do whatever, right? That The planning part of us forgets about that part of us. <laughs> but you got to bring it all together. Bring it all together and start the shift in your identity and your daily habits. Make it one tiny daily five-minute win that you can say, okay, I did that. I did that. So for the goddesses in the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, maybe it's five minutes. Just five minutes, you tune into the academy, listen to whatever lesson, five minutes, set an alarm, right? If it's you're wanting to get fit, five minutes, go for a walk. Walk until you can run, right? Five minutes, just five minutes every day so that you start to rebuild your self-integrity. And then when you say, I am the kind of person who makes stuff happen, I make shift happen in my life, then your you, your total being says, yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are, and you don't have that gap between who you're saying that you are, right, and who you claim yourself to be, right? Yes, and so it's in five-minute increments. It's in the little bit, you know, when you come to either, like I said, the retreat or you've signed up for the program, and at that moment, you're feeling your most high and most excited about everything that you're going to be doing, right? And then you're like, Goddess Blair says, waking up with cramps or whatever it is, right? Let that five-minute daily shift be what regulates you, what brings you back or brings you forward, actually, into who you really are. Yes? Yes! Okay, we got this, goddesses. You got this. You can do this. You are creating shift. You are making stuff happen. You're not even the same person that you were at the beginning of this broadcast. <laughs> You are not even the same person that you were 28 minutes ago. And that is a beautiful thing. Change is a beautiful thing. Don't let it scare you. Don't let it scare you because life is a gift that is happening for you. It's all unfolding for you. Not happening to you, it's unfolding for you. And how beautiful, how incredible, how miraculous. Yay! <laughs> So my goddesses who have signed up or who are in the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, my goddess Blanche, my goddess Neve, my goddess Dawn, all of my goddesses who are here, I see you, I adore you, I love you, you are doing this, you're going to be doing amazing, amazing things, you're already doing it, you're already such a bright and brilliant and incredible miracle and we get to start over every day again and again and again and again and that is amazing and it doesn't matter if no one else agrees with you or no one else believes in you you and your creator are a majority i'm gonna say that again you and your creator are a majority doesn't matter what anyone else's thoughts are of you all right so let's just 
breathe into that. How good does that feel? Yes. <laughs> and if you want to come and play with us and build your courses, build your products, build your programs, build your brand, show up like Goddess Blanche, who is a singer, yes, who is a singer, brings oneness and beauty on this planet, head over, start free at richgoddess.club, richgoddess.club with my Spiritual Selling Secrets Masterclass. Yay, goddesses! And just so you know, you've done your five-minute shift for today by being here. You are the kind of person who shows up for herself. Amen, Ashe, and so it is. Be seen, be heard, be a movement goddesses, and have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday, or whatever day it is if you're what when you're watching this. Namaste. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Yay. <laughs>